These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. Uh, Caliburn G3 Pro, day one. I'm excited about this. Let's just get the show on the road. All right, yeehaw, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see this full screen display. Wow, that is actually kind of impressive. Look at that. 0.6 pod, but it comes with a 0.4 and a 0.9. And they look different. So if I tap the button on the side, I see a little animation here. That little animation happens every time I take a drag. The screen only stays on for three seconds at a time maximum, and there's no way to change it. I'm guessing because it might be a real big drain on the battery, although that's just speculation based on no information. But one, two will let me change it just to auto draw. One, two, again, that little fire symbol means that the button is the fire button and that it's active. One, two, turn it off. I can one, two, three, the wattage, it'll start flashing 17, 18, 19. Let's, uh, I don't know, 20 watts. Let's leave it there. It's the 0. 0.6. Otherwise, the finish looks like it's brushed metal, but it's not. It's very smooth. That's underneath the surface, what I'm seeing there. There's a little juice window, which is fine. I miss the G3 Lite, which has the full pod on display. Airflow control, USB-C and the button. This is heavy. Dirty kitchen scale. All right, what is this? Ounces, 3.3 ounces, okay. 0 0.2 pounds, okay. 93 grams. I don't know, if I saw these numbers, I wouldn't know how heavy that is. It's, ju it's just heavy. That 0 0.09 kilos. Smell you later, dirty kitchen scale. It's thick, it's heavy, it feels Techie. Honestly, I can see why they're putting phones in disposables. This kind of feels like it should play MP3s at least. Mm, 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 mm. It's glorious. You know, it's a brand new Caliburn G3.6 ohm coil head. It's vaping great. There's a little bit of crispiness, a little bit of crackleness. The flavor, really very good. It's a big screen, you know? Look at it, it's huge. And I know that it's a screen screen because I can kind of look at it at an angle like this and you can see like the the entirety of the screen. From head on with the smokiness, it kind of, ooh, mysterious, kind of disappears, reappears. But when you get up there on an angle, you can clearly see it's a backlit type, like, type of display. I don't know, it looks cool. I haven't seen anything like this personally yet on a little vape, but I don't have any disposables with phones on them. So yeah, I think this looks pretty neat. I wish it stayed on a little bit longer. Three seconds is, is barely enough time to see your battery life. Can't possibly be hands-free. It's heavy. As we saw, it was 93 grams. Everybody can picture 93 grams in their head, right? Yeah, it's vaping awesome. Today's just day one. Time will tell me everything I need to know about this, so I'm going to continue using it. I can't help but notice that it only has a three digit puff counter. Yeah, that was 16 puffs and it's a three digit puff counter. That might already be, it's the Pro G3. The Pro G3 still only has a three digit puff counter. Okay, you will. I will catch up with you when this is about to go over a thousand puffs, like when we get to the 900 puff area. All right, here we are. There it is, 916 puffs. I would say with the last, I don't know, maybe 100 to 150 puffs being with the new 0 0.4 ohm coil, restricted lung coil. Oh man, I have so many thoughts on this Caliburn Pro. So many thoughts. The bottom line is, I think I don't super love it. I'm undecided right now on banana stickers, but I think I don't super love it. Yeah. It's big. It's got a nice 1000 ma battery and it's got this full big screen on it that is legitimately impressive to look at. It's a sight to behold. I don't think any other removable pod pod system does this right now, but we have this huge screen and you know, what's it telling me? Nothing that I really want to know. Sure, the wattage, sure, the battery indicator, but I've got this dancing robot that just takes up real estate and the puff counter just appears and disappears so quickly that it's like, what's the point of having it? That's information I, I want. I want to see the puff counter. I want to see the puff counter more than I want to see the resistance and the resistance is always on the screen. 
Sure, I can get the puff counter to appear if I press the fire button, but that's assuming that the fire button is activated to begin with because 10 times out of 10, one, two, I like to turn the fire button off. So it doesn't actually, you know, it doesn't accidentally like sizzle or fire or fry accidentally. And when you press it and it's not active, it doesn't show you the puffs. The only way to see the puffs is to take a drag. And if you lollygag for like two seconds, puff counter's gone. Puff counter's gone. Shows me the ProFox logo all the time. Shows me I'm in wattage mode all the time. Shows me the resistance all the time. Shows me many things that I don't really need to see all the time. And it shows me a robot that I don't really think I need to see all the time. Doesn't really feel like value added. This Caliburn G3 Pro, the one that I have, and I can only speak to the one that I have, has airflow switch issues e even in the direct lung with it full open that sputtering is a very real thing with both the point four and the point uh six that i was running before there it is yeah the point six the point six mouth to lung that's where the majority of these puffs came from even with this airflow slider i couldn't find the sweet spot that was open enough that I like it, but also that the auto switch would fire. And don't get me wrong, I can get the auto switch with the mouth to lung and the adjustable airflow to fire like every single time. It's just tighter than I would like it. I'm kind of comparing this directly to my favorite Cali Burn at the moment, the G3 Lite. And the Pro is, for me, in my opinion, and the way that I vape, the pro's coming up short, but the Caliburn pods are still just beautiful. If I go back to this 0.6 in here, which I said was the lion's share of these puffs, it almost went a thousand puffs on its own. These can go 2000 puffs without even in blinking an eye. That's why I love the Caliburn stuff is because of these pods. And if I have a choice in batteries, <coughs> The Pro might not be my first choice. I think it's still going to get a pretty respectful, like six and a half banana stickers. I don't want editing guy to scold me. And that's nothing to blow your nose at. And like I said, there's a lot to love here. Another thing I love about, let's say maybe other Cali burns is, this one doesn't quite show you the whole liquid level. It takes some holding it near light and seeing. I don't want to turn this into rambling. Okay, I cannot tell you where to get these and I cannot tell you how much they cost, but I would be surprised to see them over $50. Also, if you're watching this and you currently smoke tobacco cigarettes, listen, I know it looks cool, but you should really switch to vaping. Literally all of the science says you should, and it has never been easier. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 1030 and then I'm uh, gonna smoke so